G'day, Steve Morgan, Fishing Monthly Magazines, for something brand new from Honda. Got Mr. Shimamoto-san. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the, one of the head leaders of the project to design this new outboard. It's a five litre, 350 horsepower outboard. Exciting times for Honda. Thank you. <laughs> um, take us briefly through the product. Uh, we know it's a five litre V8 petrol engine that mm -hmm. runs on the lowest grade gas you can mm -hmm. get out of the Bowser. Mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit about the project and, uh, and why 350 horsepower? Okay, so our, uh, our company, we, we totally dedicate in uh, our customers Customers, uh, how do you say, customers value, and we see that uh, our customers are looking for larger motors. That's for sure. Yes, especially for this marine market that uh, everyone needs speed, but also on the other hand, everyone needs, you know, you know, fuel consumption. Yes, good, good fuel consumption and everything. And also durability means something. So, as Honda, we find that uh, it might be a good chance to expand our uh, lineup since. You know, everything is matches, matching with our technology. Yes. And uh, the reason of 350 horsepower is, again, uh, to have a larger horsepower in the market, which yep. is, you know, different from our uh, existing lineup, which was the V6 in the maximum. Yes. And, uh, again, our product is, uh, when we're doing the testing, we find that it's quite doing well in uh, quality and also, uh, how do you say, uh, performance, especially for fuel consumption. And also, you can find that uh, when you have a test ride, the motor, the engine itself is quite uh, very quiet. Yes. Uh, you can find that you could uh, have conversation with your family, with somebody that's on board with you, even though you're with, with you're running in cruise speed. Yes. So that's something that is, uh, for myself, I have to say that is quite good. Yes. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Is this the first V8 that Honda's made yes. as a company? Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, it's actually the first V8 uh, made for mass production because, you know, we do the racings. But yes. As for mass production products, uh, the V8 structure itself is totally new. It's uh, totally new for our company and it's made for marine industry. So outboard motor, which is, uh, which is uh, to totally new from scratch. Well, the, at the launch last night, the mm -hmm. big claim was this is going to be a very economical outboard. Sure. Economy is one of the pillars that you base the yeah. design on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So during the designing, it was uh, the, the, sorry, the fuel, uh, fuel rates, I mean like the fuel uh, price itself, the cost itself was a little bit more cheaper. Yep. But as you know, it's, it's, it's crazy expensive now. Yes. So um, it's actually being a great benefit, a great strong point for us, even than uh, we we've, we've thought during the uh, production, uh, sorry, production planning stage. Yes. So, yeah, that's a great part. We have a few test boats on the water today, mm -hmm. single and dual outboard yeah. setup. So I notice you've got the Optimus steering system on the yeah. twin outboard, mm -hmm. so you can get joystick piloting mm -hmm. on it. Right. So uh, during this study of uh, the, uh, the product, product planning, uh, we did find that those days uh, the joystick products were kind of growing but we've, we 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 thought that it's going to be a great future for our customers to kind of achieve that um, good experience of having a joystick with uh, easy control yes. and also kind of um, uh, one of the features of that product is that you could uh, stay positioned right you know, skyhook stuff yes so that's going to be a great benefit for the customers that use this kind of huge boats and uh, that's the reason of us to kind of contact with uh, Dometic and also uh, other steering companies so that we could have our VF350 totally compatible with their products so that we could match together because we are uh, suppliers for the boat builders and uh, we're kind of on the same page with them yes. at the moment. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, at the presentation last mm -hmm. night we saw uh, some of the future visions for Honda included uh, self-trailering and auto docking. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm taking from your car technology, yeah. that's pretty exciting for a Bodhi. Thank you. So <laughs> yes, uh, we find that uh, our company has uh, not only human resources, but we have technology that is automobile proven and that, uh, especially for the autonomous stuff, that yes. you, all cars already have that kind of cruise control, but, and also like uh, navigation, you know, the, the autonomous stuff. Yes. So we find that we have a strong point there and also that uh, the outboard engine itself would uh, remain for a while since the internal combustion engine has the power and also the uh, fuel efficiency at the same time if we could make the engine um, dedicated for a marine. Yep. Outboards. Yep. So uh, that's the reason of uh, kind of uh, aiming for a future to have that kind of uh, autonomous product to the market that uh, is, um, how do you say, uh, achievable for customers that uh, will have a easy boating yes. experience. Yes. So, yeah, that's the reason. Um, finally, Honda been making uh, four-stroke outboards since 1964. It's mm -hmm. what 60 years now you've been mm -hmm. making it. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit about the trajectory of Honda. Um, you're looking to get back into the marine market in a big way, aren't you? Mm -hmm. 
So again, uh, from 1964, we were the kind of um, the challenger to entry the outboard outboard mo outboard engine market yep. with the four-stroke engine, which uh, at the moment two-stroke was dominating yes. uh, the market. And uh, we were uh, our founder, Honda Soichiro, was uh, totally how do you say um, deeply thinking about the environment yes. from 1964, yes. which is ahead of his time. Yeah, it's, it's it's a very how do you say a future mind, yes. I guess. And so um, it's been six years now. Where we are expanding our motor since uh, outboard uh, horsepower range since. Yes. And uh, uh, let us see what we can do in the future as yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. They're pretty tight-lipped about what's coming up, but uh, we get to take some of these 350s on the water today. And like we do at Fishing Monthly, we're going to come back to you with some of the performance statistics. So there you go, we're back in the fishing monthly offices now, but that's what the five litre V8 Honda 350 horsepower looks like out on the water. And it was on three different boats today. Uh, one, a twin rig Rabalo and two single rig outboards. Um, and we've managed to dig up some of the performance stats. It was a little bit sort of busy out there to actually grab a boat and spend 20 minutes doing the performance stats ourselves. But I've dug up on this brochure they gave us on the day, some of the performance stats on a Stabby Craft 7.6 metre cabin boat running a 16 inch uh, diameter propeller, 18 inch pitch. Um, best economy on that rig, 3000 RPM, 36 kilometres an hour, and what I think is a fairly great economy of 1.42 kilometres per litre burned. And like every single outboard, if you drive it hard, your economy halves from best cruising speed to least economical, but faster speed. So wide open throttle, 6,005, RPM on that boat, getting just under 82 kilometers an hour at 0.7 or 700 meters per litre burn. So literally half of the 1.4 plus kilometers at best economy. Um, subjective things like, is the motor quiet? Yep. Does it vibrate a lot? No. It's a, it incorporates a lot of the technology to keep this uh, a quiet outboard. Of course, modern four-strokes you expect to be quiet, and that Honda doesn't disappoint. But for me, the most exciting thing about Honda is the enthusiasm that the Honda staff have for, I think, the revamping of their range. They wouldn't give us an indication of whether it was revamping upwards in horsepower or actually renovating some of the smaller horsepowers that Honda owners have come to know and love over the years. So I suppose the next four or five years, we'll see which way that direction is heading and what models come out with the new aesthetic and the new technology behind it. So there you go, the new V8 Honda 350. It's a thing and it's now available in Australia.